Today, somebody asked me what inspired the story of Changelings. I thought it was an awesome question, and I thought we should talk about it here. So, let's go! Welcome to the fifth entry of the 90-day marathon for Changelings. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about a question that somebody asked me on Steam regarding Changelings and what inspired the story. And I thought that question would make an excellent topic for today's entry. Now, one of the things I really enjoy about social media is the immediate connection it gives you to other people from all walks of life all across the world. And I've been vlogging much more regularly and posting about my efforts to make Changelings on the Steam blockchain and to crowdfund in about 80, about seven days or so on April 21st. And, and I was greeted with this question earlier today on Steam from someone I don't know who I've actually been having some regular interactions with. A shout out to Ash TV uh, while we're at it. Uh, he's, a, he's a nice fellow over in the UK, does some videography work. And he's interested in writing and interested in story and making his own film someday. And he asked me what the inspiration was for Changelings and why I needed to make this film. First, on a slight tangent, I don't think this needs to be made. I mean, I need to eat. I need to drink water. I need to work. I want to make this film and tell the story because I think it's really interesting. And the topic and the sort of substrata of the story that I'm going to explore, I find fascinating as well. So the question that Ash asked me was what inspired the story. It came from two places. The first place it came from was the boredom that I had been experiencing with Hollywood monster movies, um, whether it's sharks or vampires or werewolves or whatever. The more unconventional the monster, the more intrigued I am from it uh, or by it. And I just felt like uh, not many monsters have really been intriguing me lately. I really love Splinter. Splinter, I thought, was a really, really cool film. That's probably the last creature film that really got me thinking about parasites because parasitism is something that really creeps me out. And uh, I, just, I just love that aspect of Splinter. It's, uh, if you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. The other creature film that continues to inspire me is John Carpenter's The Thing. And it really encapsulates a lot of what inspired me to make Changelings. So first, I'm kind of bored with monster movies, or just generally creatures out of the uh, you know out of the film world. I, I just find kind of boring lately. So I've been trying to come up with a new monster. I think that it's always just fun to challenge yourself with these kinds of things. What would be something that either you haven't seen before, or something that you think is fresh, or just something that really, you know, inspires you to explore further. The best part about coming up with a new creature is that you can always take little bits and pieces from the old creatures to come up with something wholly new and, and hopefully terrifying. So the creature of Changelings is a shapeshifter, more or less, that combines attributes of vampirism and lichenism. And I thought that a shapeshifting creature that looks human was the perfect fit for today's society and, and how it's changing. I don't think that movies have to be contemporary or be informed by contemporary issues, but the nature of identity is something that's been a really hot topic as of late. I thought that a shape-shifting creature would be a great platform to explore identity. And not in the way that I think we see it sort of explored on as of late. I think that a lot of what I've been seeing is sort of very pedestrian, like sexual identity and that kind of stuff. The aspect of identity that really fascinates me and also kind of scares me is the question as to whether or not we have as much control over our identity and our free will as we think. Identity is an interesting and I think fertile ground uh, to explore for horror. People typically will reference identity as something that is sort of self-actuated, it's something that you possess or create. But just to make this a little bit more concrete, I've pulled up a definition of identity on Wikipedia and let's just read what it has to say. On Wikipedia, under identity and social science, a person's identity is defined as the totality of one's self-control, in which how one con construes oneself in the present expresses the continuity between how one construes oneself as one was in the past and how one construes oneself as one aspires to be in the future. God, that is a mouthful. Now, this is sort of suggesting that there is some, that in order to have an identity, there needs to be some kind of continuity. Uh, between the past, present, and potentially the future. Because we don't know how much of your... We don't know how much of you 
is controlled by you. And I, I guess what I'm saying by that is we don't know how much of your identity is made up of your will, of your free will, and, and, and how much it was made up of, of it, say, of biology or social influences that, that push you in certain directions. My limited understanding of, of identity as far as like uh, science or literature goes, it, it looks like it's sort of up in the air. Because we just don't know where one begins and one ends. You know, some people will say that identity is something that's self-actuated. But is the identity that you're expressing, is that merely an expression of your genes? Is it an expression of both will and biology? Is your will merely a creation of your biology? I think that that's what's really interesting about identity because it's an existential problem. It's something that's very difficult to answer. It pushes into the realms of spirituality. And when you're talking about identity, and I think especially with, with changelings, is that the creatures that look human have changed identity so often that they effectively have none. And this definition sort of touches on it a little bit because there's very little or no continuity between the past, present, and future as to how one constructs oneself. You could argue that in changelings, the creatures have no identity based on this definition alone. But if you take into account biology, maybe there is an underlying identity, an underlying something that is informing the creatures from moment to moment. One of the things that I want to explore is that push and pull between nature and nurture and free will. Let's just say that the creatures and changelings haven't reached their final form. At some point, they're going to metamorphize into something new. For our main character in changelings, this is one of the major points of internal conflict that the character is going to face. Obviously, I'm going to have to do a little more research on what identity means and how that's constructed, how genes might or might not influence your identity, and what would happen if you were somebody who could maintain, say, a certain level of continuity between forms, right? So if I were to change form but maintain my brain, but everything else about me changes, my sex, my height, or um, my color, you know, how does that inform who you are? Are you the same person from moment to moment or is something different about you every time? And, and is it possible to maintain a continuity of reality? So I think that would be really interesting uh, to see a character go through questioning will and nature. I thought this would be fertile ground to explore for a horror film and to create a monster that was new and focus on, you know, focus less on the, the visceral, uh, body horror that I think Changelings is going to embody a little bit of and f and really try to drill down into the characters to make something unique. To allow characters that are experiencing something wholly outside of our experience uh, to inform us about what, you know, what that's like and to see that struggle, that internal struggle that also manifests externally. That's the inspiration for Changelings is I wanted to explore identity because of what's going on in society today and and how there's a debate about what identity is. Uh, I think that identity is a little more complex than self-actualization. I think that there's probably a balance between uh, nature, nurture, free will, but also how others see you, because identity can't just be internalized, right? Because if, if I'm a crazy person, and I think I'm King Arthur, but I'm just a homeless person, well, you know, clearly there's a disconnect between what I believe to be my identity and reality. So I, I think that that is also an aspect that is worth exploring. I'm not sure if that's gonna make it into the film as a theme, but I think that it just demonstrates that uh, identity being a function of reality is a little more complex than just declaring I am this or I am that. Perspective matters and perspectives, perspectives outside of yourself matters. Objectivity plays a part in our lives and in the real world. And I'm excited to explore these kind of internal states and this debate uh, and to sort of lend, you know, you know toss my head in, into the ring with this debate about identity and nature and whatnot. And um, what do you think? Uh, do you think identity is just something you can declare for yourself? Do you think that it's a, a marriage between how you see yourself and how others perceive you? Do you think that it's a, a, a synergy between nature and free will? You know, what do you think? Uh, in any case, that's it. That's the... Um, that's the gist of that. Uh, stay tuned for more. Tomorrow will be the sixth entry into the 90-day marathon for Changelings. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, let me know your thoughts about uh, this aspect of the story. Fill out. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. 
All right, see you there.